Tonight, the Niagara Falls City School District is investigating a number of severe fights that took place at Niagara Falls High School. School officials tell us the high school saw at least four fights this week. On the first week of school, police arrested one student and a second student had to be hospitalized. Our Lilia Wood is tracking down more information on this developing story. I was not expecting this at all. And I expected a normal school year. Concerned parents and grandparents sent us these screen recordings of social media posts showing Niagara Falls High School students fighting on the third day of school. Unfortunate afternoon yesterday where we had four or five physical altercations. Uh, there were severe fights and it's real disappointing. Superintendent Mark Laurie tells me 21 female students were involved. One student was charged with harassment and assault and one was hospitalized. I tell you that if you choose to act that way in our schools, you've also chosen to come be part of the remote learning class. You will not get your education in school. Laurie says two of the fights started in the community and were brought into the school. And this is without blame. One of the instances was caused by a long wait for a school bus. Frustrations boil over, uh, having to wait an hour to be transported home doesn't sit well uh, with people. Senior Skylar Greenwall says he was nervous sitting in his classroom. Did you feel safe in school today? I was terrified because I don't know if there was going to be more fights. Those school fights did happen on Thursday and now there's social media posts saying a student went into the school with a weapon. The superintendent tells me that is just a rumor. They checked all the students bags this morning. It sends a thousand parents into a Understandable tizzy. I know tizzy is the wrong. Understandable panic mode. Lori says the social media post was a person holding a gun in a bathroom, but it turns out the photo was taken in El Paso, Texas. Affixed to us Instagram or whatever the heck they do it, and they make it look like it's happening here. It is El Paso, Texas. I'll show you the link. Concerned parents like Nicholas Young pulled their kids out of school. They haven't been to school in 18 months, and built up pent up energy outside beefs maybe that they had outside of school boiled over. Lori says the district already increased security and police presence as well as started to check students bags before they enter the building. I know violence is a normal part of life but it's terrible to have to deal with that in school. In Niagara Falls, Lilia Woods, 7 Eyewitness News.